We're doing really good here. All right, let's Hey, no dogs allowed in the library. What the hell's the matter with you? Dogs these days. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the Wasteland biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. However, we are in the one and only green biome. It's a very small green biome, as you can see. Uh, and we are in the process of gearing up for uh, going into this mega city here and looting the hell out of it. Okay, so uh, bring you back. It is a uh, horde day 70 and uh, almost nighttime and I'm not uh, I'm still not quite ready uh, to use the base so we're going to go one more week before uh, we use the horde base uh, but I wanted to uh, bring you back now give you an update on where we are at with that base and um, go from there so I'm just cranking out steel like crazy I have uh, pretty much smelted all of that over 60,000 uh, iron that we farmed up so I'm gonna have to mine some more of that here pretty quickly um, and just been you know upgrading stuff to steel uh, I mined a whole mess of lead so we got almost 12,000 sounds like we got a screamer outside uh, 12,000 lead in here and I've been making buckshot and we got bullets queued up so we got plenty of lead uh, plus uh, yeah shit oh shit she's in here what the hell did I do oh I forgot that <laughs> Oh, that scared me. I forgot to put the ramp up. Oh my god. Okay, here. Let's get the hell out of here. Woohoo! <laughs> oh man, that was stupid. I I I'm I'm in the habit. Believe it or not. Okay. Believe it or not. I oh you know what? There's a couple things we gotta buy from the store. I am in the habit of lifting that ramp up. I do it 98% of the time. But that one, I just happened to not do it that one time. Oh god, that scared me. Suck it, zombies. All right, uh, there's a couple things I want to buy from the trader really quick. Uh, so let's just grab some cash. Um, we might as well grab all this stuff. We're going to sell all this. But I want to get back out of here quick before they uh, tear the hell out of everything. Uh, here, yeah, let's get this too. Okay. Oh, man. That woke me up. Whew. Tell you what. At some point, I want to make an... Uh, a ramp on the other side too so I don't have to always do this turnaround thing uh, yeah so I went to the trader and he's got a few things I want to purchase and I want to do it now before I forget and you know he resets and then I, it's not there anymore so let's do that now plus we sell all this stuff that we have to sell we have great prices okay so let's sell the batteries and the money and let's see we don't want to sell this wrench because that's our actual wrench wrench but we'll sell this 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 that crossbow and I think yeah I think that's all we wanted to sell so we made about 4,000 dukes uh, off that sale those sales and okay so he's got a few things we want to purchase we want to get Rain bows degrade twenty percent slower. You know, maybe this is what I wanted though. Armor doesn't slow down when in combat. That's that's just amazing because it basically negates completely negates the speed, uh, you know, debuff that you get with heavy armor at the moment when it's the most important that it's you know that you need to move. So. <laughs> Uh, that's amazing. So we're gonna get that. Also, this will allow us to craft M60 machine guns, which is the only way you can get them besides finding them because you can't buy them from the trader. Um, I wanted to also buy... He's got a gyrocopter for 100 thou. You know what? Let's just buy this. Let's go ahead and do it because I am still planning on doing, uh, you know, stealthy stealth archery when we do our respec. Uh, so let's buy that. And then there was something else too I wanted to get. Uh, oh, I wanted to get Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. We might as well get that because then, uh, and we already have one of those that we looted too, but we'll get that because that way, you know, when we buy these big ticket items, such as the, um, forgetting elixir when the time comes, we'll be able to, uh, get it, you know, for less money. Okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, oh, 
Oh, okay. So I don't have the skill uh, in the intellect tree to make relays. So um, he's got some switches, and I wanted to buy... Um, let's just buy, I don't know, maybe four of those. They're not that expensive, so we have them. Um, but I, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for him to stock some relays because I'm going to need some relays, uh, too. Uh, so hopefully, you know, we'll either find those or he'll stock them and we can, it's been um, a real pleasure. You watch yourself out there. Uh, we, <clears throat> excuse me, we can, uh, you know, buy those that and that way I don't have to, you know, spec into intellect to get those things. We're running out of time as usual here. Uh, but I want to take you down into the to the base real quick. Just kind of show you where we're at, and then we got to skedaddle. I'm going to travel again, uh, travel to the city, uh, the mega city on Horde Night, and just ride the streets and wrench more cars, because I need more gasoline anyways. You know, that's really just the best, the best way to handle that at this point, because, you know, I don't have a base that's ready. And if I end up hunkering down in a stout POI, then, you know, I'm just sitting there and I'm not really that productive. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's take a look here. First of all, I wanted to upgrade this to a steel vault. Okay, so we got that done. And I'm going to, I'm also going to, um, you know, frame this in and I'm probably going to put a second door and then there's also going to be a hatch here too. Um... And so I, I, I got the, uh, the steel hatch. Uh, but basically I've got, I might have already had this part done uh, the last time I showed you guys this, but uh, I've got the hanging platform in and it's all completely upgraded to, to steel now. Uh, so that's done. And let's go up there real quick and take a look at that before we have to take off. Plus I got a couple things I want to drop off uh, here. So yeah, what I'll probably end up doing, in fact, we could probably do that, do this right now. Whoops. Well, no, actually, I'm not going to do this because if I ended up putting double doors in here, I might, I might change this up a little bit. So let's just keep nerd pulling for the moment to get up here. But I, I carved out a little chamber here. I've already set up my Jenny uh, with my uh, engines in it, and uh, my plan is to set up uh, these electric fence posts here. Let's put all that stuff in there. Let's just read these now, so I don't forget to do so. Um, and this too. Okay, we'll put the switches in here. We'll put the, uh, the wet concrete blocks. Uh, I don't need to take the dirt. We'll keep the steel in here, uh, for now, because we've got to skedaddle out of here. Uh, I'm going to keep the nades with me for now. Okay. So anyway, uh, what, what's going to happen here? Uh, oh, here's what the platform looks like. Yeah, that's what I was going to show you. Um, but I'm going to put fence posts, I'm going to put electric fence posts on, on the diagonals of this chamber. And what's going to happen is they're going to be one block down below this and they're, and they're going to crisscross, uh, the opening here. And the reason why that's important is because if I set them up horizontally, um, the zombies, you know, the, the way this is designed is that the zombies are, are going to be funneled and they're going to come straight down through here. And so, you know, there's a, a, like a square opening with the wires crisscrossing and they'll actually uh, miss the wires. And the reason I know that is because I've tested some of this out on creative mode. Um, just, you know, tested the design out to see if it's going to work. And so um, we've got to make sure that those wires crisscross in order for them to actually get zapped by them. And so the plan will be, you know, that we're going to put um, in, the, in the, the four corners here, the four diagonal corners, we're going to put some fence posts and then we're going to run... Uh, electric fence wires crisscross. Now, I'm also planning on um, setting up some shotgun turrets in the corners, too. I might not get to that for the first uh, horde night that we do uh, in here because of the fact that um, that... Re oh, shit. Oh, man, we are so lucky we didn't just break our leg. I was afraid that was going to happen. Um, I don't know if I'll get that done uh, for the first horde night that we spin in here, but we will. we should definitely have the electric fences in place for that so anyway that gives you kind of an update uh on the base itself uh oh geez we're running out of time okay here let's just go up there again for a second um so yeah basically this is set up so that this platform here is supported by these hanging poles so even if 
this the entire wall was torn apart by the horde um this platform's not going to fall down the only way that it would fall down is if they actually were able to somehow get above me and you know bust out all of the dirt uh, or the, the stone that this you know this whole ceiling uh, is attached to and or you know bust all eight of these poles that I have um, very very unlikely that that's going to happen um, assuming that they all behave of course and come down through the funnel now you'll also notice that I put um, this little thing up here and the reason being is because that way if I'm standing straight up I can't accidentally fall into the hole but what's even better is if I crouch notice that if I move towards it it still kind of stops me right it just it kind of stops me a little bit before I go a, too far. Now, if I continue to push forward, I can eventually, um, you know, go over the edge. But that just kind of that's kind of like just a, a little bit of a safety thing for me. So you know, I can still kind of ease ease over to the edge to look down in there, throw grenades or whatever. Um, but it's sort of it's sort of kind of like almost holding me in place. Not totally because I can still move, but it's it's resisting me from moving forward. I guess that's the best way to explain it. Uh, so that's just a little bit of a safety feature for me. And of course, if I'm standing straight up, then I can't, you know, go in there at all to prevent me from, you know, falling down through there. And then I can also, you know, come along the sides and, you know, see down into there and throw grenades, uh, you know, down into the the funnel, uh, of the upside down pyramid. And, th and that'll just kind of di uh, direct the nades right onto the, the Zekers. Okay, so that's pretty much what we got done so far. The only thing really I have left to do is finish lining the bottom part with steel and get the electric fence posts in place and a couple other things that I need to do with the door. And then this place should be ready to go for the next Horde Night. Now, where the hell is the door? It's on this side. Okay. We got to go. We I've got to get the hell out of here. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Let's get, let's get Scooch in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll keep you with me uh, for the first part of the Horde Night. Uh, but then I'll probably do most of it off camera because again, it's just going to be me driving around on the motorcycle, staying ahead of the Zekers in wrenching cars so I can get. Man. I don't know if that's a sleeper or just. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let me get my st <coughs> stamina back. All right, let's just go. <coughs> I got a scratchy throat. Okay. So, Horde Night 70. Uh, I think what we'll do is let's get over by the... Uh, let's get over by the... Shamway Factory. And we'll just kind of hang out there until they spawn in, and then we're going to zippity do. Okay, they're coming that direction. Let's go this way. That's a little kind of rough terrain going through there, so I want to stay on, you know, fairly smooth terrain. And then we're just going to travel, uh, you know, to the... Got to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Uh, travel to the city and rent some cars. When I did this before, I was actually in in the city when it all started, but uh, didn't didn't have time to do that because I was showing you guys the horde base. So yeah, this th really this is all it's going to be, guys. There's not really much for you to see, honestly. Um, <clears throat> you know, the main the initial horde spawned in town but what will happen is if you've never done this before or seen it done what will happen is periodically uh, the game will spawn in like a new <clears throat> smaller group of blood moon zombies and they'll continue chasing me throughout the night uh, but usually I've you know usually I have enough time uh, you know a, a few minutes here and there to where I can actually jump off the bike and wrench a couple cars before the next you know, little wave comes after me, uh, but it never it never sends like the big horde after me um, on those little subsequent spawnings. They're just little groups, you know, onesie twosies. However, the one thing about it though that I've noticed is if I try and stand my ground and fight them, it'll just keep sending keep sending them. It's it just sends them nonstop, but it kind of sends them like one at a time. It's really weird how it works. All right. 
okay guys well um i'm gonna i'm gonna cut the camera here and like i said just drive around rent some cars and i will bring you back in the morning and we will go from there okay so see you in the morning wish me luck all right guys it is uh almost morning and uh I've been chased for a good part of the night, um, but we got—we almost got 10,000 gas. Actually, one more, one more car wrench, and we'll we'll have 10,000. And I, uh, I already had, still had 10,000 in the motorcycle. So usually when I go out and, and wrench the cars, I try and get uh, 20,000 gas uh, per trip. So we've done pretty good tonight. Uh, also. Glower is still pursuing me, I'm sure. Um, also, I found off of a... Uh... Okay, so we won't get anybody new now. Uh, I don't think these are blood moons. These are just guys that were hanging out, I'm guessing. Okay, I think we're cool. Um, there's a dog around. I was attacked uh, by a uh, construction worker in the middle of the night, and he dropped a yellow bag with this. Um, what is this? Pistol P Volume 7. Inflict 10% more damage with 9mm weapons. So I thought I'd save that in... Show you guys that. So that was a nice little find. Oh, and I also got, uh, he also dropped an orange um, steel pick. But, you know, I think instead of selling that, I think I'm going to scrap it for the steel parts because I still need to make, uh, I made a blue axe and steel pickaxe, but I, I want to make a blue shovel too. I do have this yellow one here, but I'd like to make a blue one. So I'm getting, I'm saving up for steel parts for that too. Okay, so... Let's see, let's go ahead and fuel that up, and then wrenching this car should get us um, our 10,000 gasoline. Over on the um, east side of the city, I came across uh, one of those really large uh, crack -a book stores. Not the skyscraper, but the, just the big store. So I was thinking maybe what we could do is um uh, go loot that for the rest of this episode because I am looking for uh, the Jeep accessories oh come on I got that I'm doing 10% more damage on 9 millimeters but I still only have I think one point into handguns so still kind of weak sauce on that let's go ahead and make a um, an LC there's not really there isn't really any places in here or very many places rather that we can set up a choke point though but uh, we'll do that at the at the front door anyway okay we got a dog around let's deal with him There's a snake. Haha, <laughs> nice shot. I don't know where Fido is, but you know what? That's ten pieces of meat. Let's grab it. Alright, well, let's just go. He's probably going to sneak up on us at uh, an inopportune moment. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let's bust that door down. Most likely this is the one they're going to try and come to. Yep. Okay. How am I missing?
What? <laughs> uh, I must have. The cheerleader must not have been dead. It sounded like the business guy was making the the female zombies noise, death noise. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. I made another one just in case we have an, another opportunity for a choke point. We're probably clear on the bottom floor now, but there's going to be Zeke's upstairs too. Okay, so let's start over here. And come on, a jeep. Wait a minute, hold on. That's worth 160. Yeah, let's not scrap it. Okay, here we go. Learn how to harvest coffins for bones, jewelry. Okay, yep, yeah, I'll take that. That will sell. Crack a box at the crack a book. Always use paper for uh, shotgun shells, of course. Oh man, come on, game. <laughs> we don't need the chassis, we need the accessories. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Uh, okay, what's this? Landmines won't detonate when stepped on. Oh, man, how useful is that in the wasteland? Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. I wonder if that applies, though, to riding over them with a, uh, a bike, too. Okay, that was worth the price of admission right there, huh? Um, we don't really need that ever. We will we'll take that. Uh, how much does this sell for? 160. Okay. Okay, we already know that stuff. Here we go. Uh, armor plating. And I'm just going to scrap those. I don't do the the little yellow side quests on insane um, nightmare speed. It's just... It's too hard to do. because, And the reason why it's too hard to do is because they always take place out in the open. And so it spawns all a big group of zombies in, and you're out in the open, and they're running at nightmare speed. Uh, learn to craft lanterns. Okay, good. Lanterns actually will come in handy. And the other stuff's not that big of a deal, but lanterns will come in handy. Anyway, um, and it's just really, really difficult to do those quests on Insane. All right. Um, oh, look, Blade Trap. Okay, that'll come in handy. Uh, you know what would be else would be handy is if we could find the schematic to make the um, the relays. Nail gun schematic, okay, and compound bow. We're finding some pretty decent stuff overall. Not quite what we want, but I'm not complaining. Okay, we already know both of those, and they're both 160s. So we're probably gonna have to do a drop chest to finish this place out. Uh, is there a safe down here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. More paper. Scrap a doodle of that. I always thought those, those even you know in Alpha fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and whatnot. I always felt those side quests were just a little. Uh, I don't know, out of place maybe. It just seemed like, what's, what's this all about? How does this fit in with stuff, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Just not, never been a fan of them. Okay, that's nice. Military armor schematic. Oh, that's actually really nice. That's going to super come in handy. Okay, we'll take that. Um... Okay, wood splitter mod. And we got another dynamite schematic. Whoops. Uh, we want to scrap that. Let's put the junk turret down there. Uh, okay. So we are now out of room. There we go. That's nice. Okay, what's this? Give some more damage against deer. All right. Okay, we'll take that. We're really uh, cashing in on the stuff. We just need that stupid um, uh, 4x4 chassis. Or not chassis. Um, accessories. That's what we're looking for. Okay, let's go back out here. And we're going to have to do a drop chest. 
Uh, yeah, that's that's like 1,500 and some odd coin right there. We might as well sell them. Okay, so we need that. And we need that. Okay, time to go upstairs. Did we hit... We hit all these, right? Yeah. Oh, actually, before we go upstairs... Oh, shit, that scared me. I don't know why it did. Whoa! <laughs> I know why that one did. For some reason, I wasn't... Oh, there's more bookcases in here. I wasn't expecting there to be zombies back here, which is completely ridiculous, because why wouldn't there be zombies back here? Come on, Edgar. Feral Edgar. No, that's normal Edgar, not Feral Edgar. Uh, all right, we will take those and we'll scrap a doodle of those. I decided to start keeping hubcap and air filter landmines. Uh, oh, nice. Fully automatic mode does 1% more damage per hit until you miss. That's a really nice one, too. We already know the first aid, so that's good. All right. Craft uh, armor piercing 44. All right, cool. We already know this one. Make your own denim jeans, skirts, and overalls. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Don't really care about that so much. Yeah, don't care about that either. Okay, good. So we're uh, we're doing really good here. All right, let's. Hey, no dogs allowed in the library. What the hell's the matter with you? Dogs these days. Okay. Um. No. Nope. 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 Over here. Over here. Over here. Okay. We'll put that there. And, uh, alright, let's go upstairs, and then we'll have to wrap up this episode. So we're gonna have some resistance upstairs. Are you dead? She's dead. Might as well loot this stuff. Okay, chuck that, scrap that, chuck that, chuck that. Uh, we're good. I don't have the I don't have the thing that gives me brass from breaking doors, do I? No. Okay. I just realized something. We are kind of in bad shape for food and water. Let's eat a couple of spam spam doodles here. And we'll throw back some red teas. Okay, let's do this. Turn the light off. There's usually sleepers up here. Oh man. That's the almost the worst kind of sleeper too. Um okay, the last time we were up here. We used we used some grenades. Except for I threw the grenades and then I ran downstairs and when the grenade exploded it actually damaged me so oh I think I told you guys this but um I've been putting a couple points in the demolitions expert and when I get the next level I'm gonna at least go up to level three as well uh, and that's important because we're gonna be using a lot of grenades on our horde base so we've got to have good skills in it I hope this doesn't mess up uh, the bookcase actually you know what else I'm gonna do let's get this on the toolbar Okay. Wake up! <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh wow, that, that put the hurt on him. He blew up. 
All right, come on down, boys and girls. Oh! Feral biker. Scary. Tough as hell, too, man. Yeah, that grenade really put the hurt on that feral, irradiated cop. That was awesome. Okay. <laughs> that was funny. Let's make another LC block, just in case we didn't get um, all of the Zekers upstairs. We'll make two. Okay. Yeah, the cop did all this. I'm glad he didn't blow up by the bookcases, though. We're clear. Let's just start looting, but we'll stay on our guard. Okay. Hold on a sec. Okay. Really? No bookcases over there? What the hell? Alright. Come on, game. Give us those... Give us those, um... 4x4 four four accessories. Oh, man. Okay, what's this? Do 2% more damage to humans. Oh, yeah, like that's gonna help. Eh, yeah, we'll read it anyway. We already know those other two things. Put our light back on. We already know the crucible. Already know the motorcycle chassis. Oh, wow, nice. Very nice. Okay, that's going to come in handy. Uh, we already know this. The, oh, I can't complain, actually, you know. This has been a good... This has been a good, a good run. Okay, We'll learn it. I'll never make it, because I already know to the triples, but what the hell, right? Okay, what's this? Find more dukes and loot. Yes, sir. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Yes, please. We'll take it. Um, Learn to craft a metal chain modification. Increase your stock in the wheelchair business. <laughs> metal chain mod. Okay. Um, Can you put a metal chain mod on a... On a... A sledge? Footwear. Learn to craft a variety of good-looking and versatile footwear. I wonder if that includes the, um, the sneakers, you know, that let you, uh, run really, really fast. Tennis shoes. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure. Okay. Almost done here. Know that. Paper. There we go. Oh no, this is a stupid timer relay. No, I don't want a timer relay. I want a relay relay. Oh, okay. I wonder if you can use these as normal relays and just not have a time on them. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to look and see. Darn it. Okay. We know those, or know that. We know that. Okay, let's scrap this. And uh, looks like uh, this is it. We got uh, five more chances. What's this? Uh, find more brass and loot. Yep. That's good. We'll take that. 
Uh, we know both of those. What do we want to do? We don't... Let's get rid of five bones. Normally I wouldn't do that, but we got lots of duct tape. Okay, what's this? Take 50% less damage from clay. Okay, that's going to help, because I always have mines cave in on me. Uh, we learned this earlier, so I'm going to have to come back for that, I guess. What's that? In this schematic will teach you how to craft a barbed wire. Mo oh, okay, for that's for clubs. All right, well, we'll take it. Probably won't ever use it, but we'll take it. All right, well, I just need to come back up here and grab this guy, and uh, then we're good to go. At some point, I'll have to come back and, you know, get all those extra schematics. You know, all of them together is a pretty decent little chunk of change, so it would it's going to be worth the trip, extra trip, I think, uh, to do that. But guys, uh, we are out of time. hope you enjoyed this episode. I am going to go back uh, to our beloved green biome. And are all these the same price? No. Oh, wow, that one. Okay, I'm going to make sure I take the most expensive ones back with me. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go back to the, 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 to, can't talk, to the green biome and just keep working on the horde base. I fully expect it to be uh, up and ready and operational for Horde 77. And it should be pretty, pretty awesome. So, have a great rest of your day. Be safe. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that sort of thing. Comment on the channel. I know I'm, I'm completely butchering my outro, aren't I? <laughs> it's okay. Um, bye. We'll see you in the next episode.